My bold and the beautiful fans, I know your eyes were glued to the TV with this Friday cliffhanger, TGIF. Yes, we got to talk about this episode, so let's get to it. First, we see Brooke trying to convince Thomas that Hope doesn't love him. Finn also lays down the law about the family beef between Poppy and Lee. And Liam loses it when Hope admits that she loves Thomas. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both The Young and the Restless and The Bold and the Beautiful. This is your Bold and the Beautiful Recap for November 17th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this cliffhanger episode. So let's start off at the design room where we see Brooke is in full mommy mode, warning Thomas that Hope might not never love him. I mean, talk about meddling in your daughter's love life. You need to go figure out your own love life, Brooke. What happened to that so-called wedding that you were supposed to be having with Ridge? However, she went on and on about how she wishes that she could move on with her life with anybody that loves her other than Thomas. Thomas is pretty much unbothered. Thomas is like, look, Brooke, it's getting late. And he knows Brooke may never believe in his relationship with Hope, but he think her daughter will. Now, Brooke dismisses this as a phase. Now, he chooses not to believe that and honestly think that she will open her heart up to him. When he exits, she got this look on her face like, oh, Oh, well, I got a message for you, Brooke, at the end of this video. So now let's cut over to the Cliff House where Steffi, Finn, RJ, and Luna are having this cozy family dinner. Now, Luna is feeling the pressure, especially of RJ's sister, but they're all reminiscing about their childhoods and they're teasing each other. Then we see them deciding, meaning the men, go out for a swim, and Finn and RJ even flaunt their abs. Seriously, I'm telling you, these are some handsome men. Anyway, Steffi and Luna are bonding over family. Luna is falling for RJ. The dinner is all about love and support until the guys return, toweling off like they just stepped out of a magazine shoot. Finally, Finn lays down the law about his family's beef between Poppy and Lee. And then, of course, they wrap it up talking about what a blast they had. Finally, we're at the tiny cabin in the woods, and Hope tells Liam that she'll always care about him, but there's a line. He doesn't need to worry about her. She's fine, and this is her life without him, and he got to accept that. Now, Liam claims his feelings for her haven't changed since the day that they were married, but she doesn't know how he expects her to believe that, and of course, we can't either. Now, he repeats that he'll never stop loving her, and he's sure that she'll never stop loving him. I bet you were betting on on that right Liam now Liam of course brings up Thomas letting them think that their daughter is dead and accuses her of forgetting it she hadn't forgot it says that he's made himself accountable for it now her ex continues to complain about her giving Thomas slack she says that they're taking things day by day he assumes that that means that they're having a lot of sex with each other and saying that's not who she is Liam if you only knew about her awakening however Hope says that he doesn't know her and likely never did. Thomas sees the real her and puts her desires first. She reminds him that he ended the relationship and doesn't get to dictate her choices. He claims that he's concerned about her choices. Hope blurts out that he threw their relationship away and never gave her his full heart. He always had Steffi on the back burner. And of course, he's scrambling with his thoughts as he complained about her working with Thomas and when he told her not to. And she reminds him, you know what, but you ran straight to Steffi, which he did. He keeps talking. She doesn't know what to say. She's trying to be open to anything that comes with Thomas. Liam wonders if this mean another baby. He asks if she's on birth control and she loses. She was like, this ain't none of your business. She admits that she could be open to with Thomas on that. Uh, do we see a baby coming in the future? It will certainly never happen with Liam. Now, of course, Thomas arrives and he's outside the door listening explained that she knows Liam means well and she doesn't know if she's making the right decision but what she do know is what she wants and that's none other than Thomas. Thomas walk in and ask if she's okay and Liam now loses it. Hope repeats that she knows he loves her but this is not his home anymore. They will both parent Beth together but the man in her life right now is Thomas. The man who loves her with all his heart. 
Turning to Thomas, she tells him that she loves him for that. And you know what? I'm going to let this replay for you to see it again. Yeah. I know you love me. All those years. But Liam, as much as it pains me to say this, this is not your home anymore. So yes, we will parent Beth together, but the man in my life now is Thomas. The man who loves me with all of his heart. And I love him for that. You said that I love you with all of my heart. It's because you do. And you said that you love me for that. I suppose I did. Yeah, she turned to Thomas. She tells him she loves him for that. They hold each other. Liam walks out. They stand by the fire. He points out that she just said that he loves him. Meanwhile, we got lame old waffle boy, little puke, little tink tink. Oh, poor little tink tink. Watching through the windows. His eyes are getting wet. And of course, he is seething because he first got turned down by Steffi thinking that he was going to cock block when it came to hope and it did not work. Oh, too bad, little Tink Tink. I got a message for now, not only Brooke, but you as well. Check it out. Room, we've gotten word of someone that's involved in matters that don't concern them. Uh Actually, we just got word here. Uh, if you could do us a favor and take several seats. I got to send a shout out to Jeanette Reyes, Miss News Lady on TikTok, where that clip came from. I got to give you your credit on that one, girl. But Hope made a stand for herself when it came to Liam. Liam actually thought that he was going to slide his way back between these two like he's been doing for the last 12 years. I'm going to say that's 12 years of karma, Liam. Uh, should I say Waffle Boy, Little Puke? lame old Liam, little Tink Tink, oh, poor little Tink Tink. And we also even heard Hope said that maybe she can get a baby out of this situation. Could you imagine a thope baby? Would you guys want a thope baby? Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we got to stay tuned, you guys. I got to say, this was the best episode this week and an awesome cliffhanger. Okay, so there you have it, your bold and the beautiful recap for Friday, November 17th, 2023. Stay tuned for our live chat coming up tonight, 7 p.m. It happens every Friday. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.